I downloaded Euro Truck Simulator after seeing some excellent videos on YouTube by Squirrel and bought the game on Steam when it was discounted late last year. It's a surprisingly addictive and enjoyable game to play with a balance between different haulage challenges and building your own trucking empire. So in this video I want to achieve four things. Configure Euro Truck Simulator 2 for DX11, Mods and VR. How to download and install three essential mods. How to set up Open Sim Wheel Force Feedback. And how to install the plugins and configure Sim Feedback to control the SFX100 platform. So let's go to the first one. Configuring Euro Truck Simulator 2. To get the best visual experience and frame rate, you need to check that Eurotruck is using DX11. To check this, go to your documents folder, find Eurotrucks and open the config file with notepad and find the entry that looks like this. Mine was already set to DX11 when I checked it. If it's still showing DX9, change it and save. Run the game, exit and come back and check that it didn't revert back to DX9. The next step is to get Eurotruck Simulator 2 to use the mods, which I'll show you how to download in a few minutes. When you run Eurotruck after copying the files into the mod folder, you must edit your profile and click on Enable Mods. You can then select the ones you want to run. Some mods must run at a higher priority than others, and you can change this in the right hand panel. Once you are satisfied, go to the bottom of the window and click Confirm. Setting up VR. In the Steam library, right click on Eurotruck Simulator 2 and go to Properties. Click on the Betas tab and choose Oculus, Oculus 5 1.36 and then click Close. Under the General tab, click on Set Launch Options and in the box type minus Open VR, then click OK. There's still a few more settings to change before we leave the game though. So run Eurotruck and click on Settings and then the Graphics tab. If you're not running VR, try increasing the scaling from 100% to say 200%. Now this allows uh, Eurotruck to render the scenes at a higher resolution, then down downscale them. It improves the visual quality, but it does cost frames. It is worthwhile trying though. Play with this setting and see what your graphics card can handle. If you play in VR, leave it at 100%. For my Pimax 5K Plus, it crashed on any other setting than 100%. You can also increase your frame rate by turning down anti-aliasing and setting the mirror resolution to medium. The mirror resolution is very costly on frames. The mirrors act like secondary monitors with different scenes rendered on each one. So here are my Pimax settings. I did end up turning on smart smoothing because the frame rate was dipping well below 90 frames per second, even though the gameplay remained fluid and didn't show any signs of stuttering. On my 2080 Ti, I have every setting on maximum except the mirrors and scaling. The mods also increase the workload on the GPU. Downloading and installing three essential mods. Now Eurotruck runs perfectly well without mods, but the three I'm going to suggest make a big difference and are worth taking the time to download and install. And they are Natural Lux. Now this mod improves the environment, including lighting, weather and effects. Project NG, which improves the textures such as trees and roads. And Real Traffic. Now this realistically increases the number of cars and trucks on the road. You can download Naturalux from their own website, but Project NG and Real Traffic Density must be downloaded from ShareMod.com. Now this is a real pain in the neck. In order to get the files from ShareMod, I strongly recommend that you download and install Malwarebytes Free Edition and the browser extension called Pop-Up Blocker Strict. Without these, you're going to find downloading the mods difficult because of spyware. At least that's what I found. I also had trouble with downloads not fully completing when downloading from the Naturalux website, so I used Free Download Manager and that helped a bit. 
It's also frustrating that the Naturalux website doesn't allow resuming downloads if it doesn't finish. You have to start again. So let's see how you can get the mods from Naturalux. You'll need to create two registrations, one for Naturalux and one for the site that handles the licensing called Tregion. In the Naturalux website, go here. Click on Main Mod and then create an account and log in. This will take you to the Naturalux official forum. Now click on the link for the Naturalux mod in the first post. This takes you to another screen where you need to click step 2 to get to the Tregion.net forum. And here you need to create an account for Tregion and log in. This will take you to the Tregion for forum where you can click on step 3 you'll be taken back to Naturalux forum where you can find the links to the seven parts to be downloaded. Now I found that my download stopped halfway through if I tried downloading a part straight after another one. So what worked for me was logging out after downloading one of the parts and then logging on again, downloading, logging off, etc. Yeah, it was a pain in the neck, but still it was free. Now free download manager was better than the native browser downloader. Project Next Generation can be downloaded from here. So click on the link underneath the banner download 2.0 all in one. This will take you to the sharemods.com site. The pop-up blocker strict should protect you. You'll be prompted to install software and all kinds of other things, but you don't need to install anything else. Uh, to download the Project NG. I found that if I waited about 30 seconds, I would get to the download link. It's frustrating, but it can be done. And there is only one file. Consider it a challenge or a game like I did. Real Traffic Density 1.36. You can get it from here. Scroll down until you see the banner. Download Real Traffic Density and Ratio 1.36 by SIP. This is the sharemods.com site again, so good luck. Once the mods are downloaded, extract the .scs files by unzipping them and moving them into the documents Eurotruck Simulator 2 mod folder. With the mods installed, let's set up uh, open sim wheel force feedback. Make sure you can see your wheel in the joystick control panel. Go to the control section of Eurotruck and tick force feedback. Initially set the sliders like this. You can go back and change them later to get the field that you like. Now here are my settings in SimuCube. Finally, let's set up Sim Feedback and the SFX100 motion platform. Get the SCS uh, Eurotruck SDK telemetry plugin from here. You'll need the release uh, version 1.9. Now later versions don't work. Unzip and get the SCS telemetry.dll from the Win64 folder. Create a folder named Plugins in Steam, like this. Copy the DLL to the Plugins folder, so it should look like this. When you start the game from now on, it will remind you that the software development kit is installed. Simply acknowledge it and move on. With the game configured to expose the dynamic values via the SDK, we need to get a client to read them for SIM feedback. Get the SIM feedback telemetry provider from GitHub, kindly provided by Dakujo. Download the file like this and unzip it in the root folder of your sim feedback folder and it will put the files into the correct folders. Now your rig should move, probably not very realistically. I found that for pitch for example I had to put the smoothing at maximum and increase the intensity. I'm still playing around with these settings and hopefully at some point I will upload uh, these settings for you to see.
Well, I hope you found that useful. Bye for now.